Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On this episode of the Cyber Gizmo, I want to take a look today at a problem I ran into over, over the Christmas holiday. And so I want to share that with you. I knew this was going to be a problem at some point. You, you should watch your log files. This is a log file issue. And so this is a tip uh, to start the new year out. And so it begins. I have a, a Ansible script here that does a check on my journals to see how big they're getting. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. They should not be too big. So let's just see. Now Jet1 doesn't have one, so it aired out. But let's go up to the top here. And we can see that, yeah, this only has 25 meg, 17 meg, 4K. This one, Onion, has built up to 249. And the next largest one is Yellow Ice. So I guess we could try to clear those out. Typically what I will do... I will back up these the log files and put them onto my ZFS system and hold on to them for a while and maybe go through and check and see what is causing this buildup. Uh, but the uh, how much is too much? Once it gets above two or three gig, uh, the command is that is taken all the time is this one. And this runs periodically uh, and it also runs when you run Linus. So Linus just fro I was running it and it was and it froze. Uh, it was I let it run for a while and I came back about uh, I guess about 12 hours later and it was still running. It was like, okay, we've got a problem. So yeah, normally it should it should go through each log file, verify that it's okay and then give you a pass on it and, and move on. But when it gets up to a certain point, now I don't know if if yellow, we'll try it. I doubt this is going to be big enough to really cause a problem. But you, you but you should be able to see that it is going to take a lot longer to go through them. Yeah, it, it is not real fast <laughs> at its job. It's not. It's not a screaming, uh, screaming thing. So you can see it's already built up a lot of log files. Now that's not too bad. I mean, uh, but it it is it is taking space. Uh, yeah, it's five point two. Let's. I mean, it's taking one hundred and seventy two meg. As it grows, it larger and larger. There should be a process that truncates this off at some point. So what do we do about this? How do we fix this? Well, I also have one that does clean. I And I'm a little radical about it. I just, because I back it up, I hold on to it. I trash it. I just get rid of it and start over, just flush it and, and go. So I'll, I'll flush, I'll rotate, and then that makes sure that all the old files are gone. And also to vacuum up anything that's older than a second. So basically it's saying you won't have any log entries in here that it's older than a second. Now, if you want it to be a day, you want to hold on to a day's worth of logs or a week, that's fine. Just change the vacuum time to whatever you want it to be. Time removes the archive files older than the specified time span. So any so if you you have as you can see here seconds minutes hours months weeks and years so yeah you probably don't want to keep a year's worth this this thing the journal control verify is not very fast what do we do about this
All right, let's see what we got. Uh, this should have dropped it somewhat. Yeah, you can see they've all come down to uh, 17 meg or so. So yeah, this is much better. I, I think, yeah, we can definitely uh, do uh, with this. Now, <clears throat> I could run. I could also do... see what we get that's much better that, that went through that verified all of the ones I had listed in the log file table so yeah that's much better that's what I wanted to share with you today was was how to clean that mess up now there's another script that you might be interested in that Joe Collins has on his website if you go to his channel, I think you can find a video on something called Up, and it's a script that he wrote. It's out on GitHub as well, I think. Uh, if you find that, it will actually go through and do uh, some other things, like it'll clean out the other logs. It'll also uh, remove any packages that haven't been auto-removed. If Let's say you remove some packages, but the dependencies are still there. You can run that script. It's very good, and it will return quite a bit of disk space to you. I'm I don't I don't want to put it in in uh, I don't want to fork it and put it in my uh, my GitLab because you know he should get the credit for it. He does have a video. He's done an excellent job. He's uh, he does have a video on up. You can go into his channel and do a search and find it. But uh, yeah, it's very good. So with that, that's all I had for today. I hope you enjoyed this short video. I hope to see you again in the next video. Please, as always, please like and subscribe if you like the video. Uh, and if you would, would you mind sharing it out with your friends? <laughs> and thanks very much. I do appreciate that. And hope to see you all again in the next video.